Hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro video. In this video, I want to look at transitions, and then we're going to overlay another video and try and blend it in with the video below. So here we have a clip of a bike going across the sand, and that's cool. So if you want to have a default transition, one thing you may want to do is change the actual default transition, what it is. So if you do want to do that, you just do set selected as default transition. That way, if you ever choose the option, put the default transition in, it will actually put it in as the one you want. So I can hold down control now, and you'll notice that when we click here and we drag across, it's gonna have these little bars on it. Uh, if we just click within the bars, the right click button, we can press apply default transitions. And then you can see that uh, the default transition has been added to both the beginning and the end of the clip. We can hover over our program here and press the T button, and then it's gonna to change to that. And then we're gonna put guinea pig biking. Let's just do Rockwell. Uh, you could actually like uh, if you want if you had a specific place you wanted it to put it you could just do something like this with the rulers and I could sort of snap it to the guides as well there's a few different options for that uh, if you look in here like down at the bottom show rulers show guides snap and program monitor that sort of stuff All right so then you'd have something like this uh, it's worth pointing out by the way that the reason it's see-through is because the alpha transparency it looks like there's a black background here but uh, you can actually look at the alpha transparency. Uh, if you go to transparency grid, you notice there's nothing behind it, right? Uh, yeah, if you hide the whole layer, you can see it. See, so literally, there's nothing behind it. And titles in Premiere are all like that. Okay, so we've got, we got a space there on the left that we're going to put our guinea pig. Um, so again, what we could do is we could... Uh, Hold down control and then do the default transitions. So if we take a look at it now, you'll see that the actual the title as well goes in, in the same sort of vein as the previous thing. I might just change the actual color of the title now I think about it. All right. So what about the guinea pig? Well, we're going to put the guinea pig in. So the way to put the guinea pig in is Gonna do this and we're going to grab the uh, guinea pig here. Uh, you're not really supposed to do it like this either, having them different frame rates, but uh, well, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so you can see we now have our guinea pig here. Honestly, the guinea pig is not where I want it. So, and we don't even know if it is actually even a guinea pig. So, I don't think it's a guinea pig if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but, so then what you want to do is you want to go into the opacity here. And you see in the past that you get a mask. So now you can see how it's actually going to work, right? So for instance, I could just uh, well, hold shift. And then what you do is you actually do this. When you do press this button here, it actually does feathering of the mask. So when you do it that way, it's actually going to be able to, it's going to, it's going to like uh, blend in better. Yeah, that, that is better, right? So I think I think the, in general you want to be quite fairly far away from the, if you when you the way I positioned it at the beginning you want to be far away from it. Kind of interesting how the uh, how it had this bit. That's actually quite a cool effect. But yeah, we're going to work on this again. Uh, so thanks for watching.